In this video, we're going to be learning how to load the uh, DSD file on the machine for hat embroidery. After I put the neat uh, USB, it's going to keep flashing. This is red, and once this is gone, that's mean uh, it's loaded. Now, while this is flashing, we'll go under the floppy drive symbol, and then it kind of takes a little bit to load up. There you go, so it's all loaded up, so with the navigation here, we'll move down, up and down to select, and like I said before, this show only few letters, first letters of the whole name, so you have to remember which what's the name that you have given to the uh, file that you wanted to load. I know that I had the hat logo, the name of the one, so it's a hat load with... Uh, only 1140 stitches so I selected that and then this flash it says that uh, it's going to go on the fourth position into the internal memory here and then we click enter after we hit the enter it started loading it is counting the stitch and once it's done you see it's 1117 stitches and it's into the fourth place of the memory internal memory now, because we are sewing it on the hat, we need to flip the image because the machine will be sewing this in the regular, this the top, this the bottom. So if we need to flip the image, so it's so top here and bottom here. So how do we do that? While this is flashing, once this is loaded, you, you need to confirm that this is the file that you really wanted to sew. And then once that is on, go under this uh, symbol, click on that, and now you see this appeared. So that means that has some some few things that you, you can manipulate for the design so you click on that it'll take you into this menu so v scale edge scale and what we need to do is rotate the pattern so with the navigation key we go down down so here it comes so this is the pattern rotation pattern of the image it's going to solve we need to flip it so we'll just click on plus it will flip that way one more plus and there it is if we keep on going flipping it flips that way and then one more plus it's flipped the horizontal way so it's a mirror image so once again that mirror image is flipped horizontal one more vertical one more and then it's normal back to normal it says f1 so once again this is for the hat so I need the f3 and then also you go down 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 one more and you see the cap frame menu here we need to turn that on because we are doing the cap so what what the machine does is the machine recognizes that it's a it's a curved surface so it won't be really um, sewing good if you're going on to a top speed as it'll sew on the flat so because it's a flat uh, round surface machine needs to go a little bit slow so we by clicking plus we're gonna turn on the cap frame so it uh, will automatic automatically come to 650 rpm and then it won't go more than that so uh, after we're done with that uh, just click on this that means all the menus saved and you see here that F is flipped upside down and you have the hat frame logo on and we also need to change the color and the needle position so with that um, while we, we need this in the flashing flashing mode that's mean basically editing mode so with that having flashing uh, click on the color selection button and under that you click on the C so it's color plus color minus so click on plus 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 in my case I need white thread which is which is on to the 12th position here white thread so I need to select white so plus 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 and then 12 number so once once you have the c01 you can also go back and select the 
12 there and then once you selected that click enter and there you go it's done now the needle is on the 14th position so I want to bring the needle uh, come to the 12th position so for that that's the needle button needle position button click on that and, and then click in with as soon as you click in it will ask you to needle one and go minus and plus so uh, needle minus position onto the 12 and then enter as soon as I hit enter you'll see this move to the 12th position With that just click on this button that means just one click is good and you are into the stitch mode now so with this button we'll see where uh, the machine is going to be so in the design so we we'll click on that and you see it started moving. so this is showing us where the area of the stitch there you go. so I think I'm very happy with that and with that I'm just gonna Go ahead and press the green button to start sewing.